Hey guys, Tom Camp from Digital Recording School. I just got a question from uh, Jacob about some vocal production stuff and how you kind of can get different layers and textures and vocals and things like that. So I figured I'd just jump on live real quick, do a real quick video, just talk about um, some vocal production stuff and actually do a little bit of singing and show you how you can kind of add new textures and stuff. Before I get started, I do want to tell you guys that just to kind of save time here, I'm tracking on the way in with some plugins using UAD. I'm doing a little bit of EQ, scooping out something in the mid-range, boosting a little bit of the uh, lows, doing a little bit of compression uh, using the CL1B, uh, boosting some highs in the Poltec, and I'm also cheating uh, just to save time. I'm doing a little bit of auto-tune on the way in. I typically never do this. I like melodizing my vocals, but I figured for the sake of doing a quick video, I'll just throw auto-tune on, running the demo, see how that works. So, um, yeah, I'm going to track a vocal real quick, and then I'm going to show you how you can kind of add some more weight to it and stuff like that. So let's uh, do that. And so you say doesn't matter either way. Either you lie or you're just that insecure. I know you're afraid. This might not work either way Give it a try I know that you're unsure And all this time I've been trying just to understand Trying to keep my head straight Make the right impression You got me running and talking to myself Baby, I'm just trying to see You are the one You're all I need you're what the stars wish they could be And I know You'll see Everything I thought I could be Alright, this is a little weird because I'm getting a little bit of like a phasey double track, track thing, thing But, but uh, let's take a listen to that And so You say Doesn't matter either Actually, there's a little bit of a time delay, so I gotta move this back just uh, for some input delay compensation. And so you say, doesn't matter either way. Either you lie, or you're just that insecure. I know you're afraid. This might not work either way. Give it a try. I know. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to add some vocal harmony um, just to like the last few lines in the verse. So let's do that. Add a little bit of a color texturation. Either you lie or you're just that insecure. All right, this line. Give it a try. I know that you're unsure. Alright, I think that worked. Let's take, take a, a listen. listen. You're just that insecure. Oh, You're just that insecure. Alright, that works. I know that you're unsure. And all this time I've been trying just to understand. Trying to keep my head straight. Make the right and right, so quick all oh, under that. You know, I'll mute the vocal. And let's do that. Maybe some ooze, something like that. Alright, no idea what I was doing there. Kind of riffing. riffing. Let's see how that sounds. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to just harmonize on that, but uh, let's try it. Two, three. Nah, it's a little too too obscure for me right now. Uh, so let's see. Let's do a harmony on the main line. All this time I've been trying just to understand, trying to keep my head. Alright, that ah's too loud. Also, super mono. 
kind of a little a little nasty, but we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna show you how. It's all this. It's all this time I've been trying just to understand, trying to keep my head straight, make the right impression. You got me running and talking to myself. Baby, I'm just trying to see. Okay, so I'm gonna go for that. Um, I'm gonna back up. Actually, those oohs are not working at all because of the minor chord. Um, so let's see. I'm just trying to move fast. Oh. Stand, trying to keep my head straight, make the right impression. You got me running and talking to myself. Baby, I'm just trying to see. Of course it froze. Let's see if we got, got it, it though. though. Baby, I'm just trying to see. Alright, right, that, that worked. worked. Let's move that. that. That's a weird double. Baby, I'm just Baby, I'm just trying to see. You are the one. You're all I need. You're what the stars wish they could be. Alright, maybe some harmony there the one you're all i need you're what the stars wish they could be all right getting some uh some crap going on here but let's take a listen you know what? let's jump in i want to show you how to take kind of a mono vocal and let's let's give it a little bit more life so uh first thing i want to do is uh let's see these drums are kind of bothering me a little bit let me do something to that real quick to clean it up so Say. Just want to do some compression and EQ. I consider this just a little bonus. Okay, got that. Just a little compression, mainly. It's a uh, EQ I want to do. I'm going to grab this fab filter. Let's go right here. Bring these mids down. Oh, I cleaned it up nice. Okay, cool. That was just bothering me a little bit. Uh, it's standing out too much. So let's go on to the vocals. It's all this time I've been trying just to understand. Trying to keep my head straight, make the right impression. You got me running and talking to myself. Baby, I'm just trying. It's all, all right. It's not terrible. Uh, it's just boring. It's bland. So let's uh, let's give it a little bit of a realism first so of all. You say doesn't matter. All right, so I got a couple of uh, a couple of go-to tricks that I'm gonna do. So the first I'm gonna do is I want to create a fake room space. All right, so I am going to grab Oceanway Studios. Uh, you can use pretty much any reverb that you have in your uh, in your DAW. I particularly like this one because of the impulse response. I select vocal solo and I click interior and look at that now I'm in this beautiful room now it's not going to sound I'm in theory it's not going to be the same as what you're seeing right now which is just me sitting with a you know dynamic microphone right in front of my voice I'm using I'm dropping that microphone into this room so let's hear what that adds to it so you say doesn't matter either Without it. way either you lie or you're just that in Awesome. It's got a little bit of depth now, a little bit of realism. Uh, let's keep going. Um, and you know what? I was asked specifically about creating like that kind of double pop vocal sound. Um, you can get that one of two ways. You can double track your vocals twice, panning, you know, um, one right, one left as far as a double to create like that kind of width. The other thing that you can do is you can use, uh, let me see, what is it? Uh, Waves Audio Real ADT. I really like this. Load, fake stereo. Watch what this does. So, you say, 
Doesn't matter either way. Either you lie without it, or you're just that insecure. So I don't want to overdo it, but it adds something really cool. Adds some nice texture. All right, let's uh now let's get a nice delay. All right, bring this up. Uh, for my delay, my go-to is I love the Echo Boy. Uh, where is it? Echo Boy. And they have a really cool preset on there that I also love. Uh, specifically made for like poppy vocals. So it kind of creates like this uh, distant, almost telephone radio effect on the vocal. That's nice. We'll wait till Pro Tools loads. Okay, so let's see. Vocal FX, Pop Star Radio Echo. I'm going to mute these others. Let's take a listen. It's going to be... So, you say, doesn't matter either way, either you lie, or you're just that insecure. That's cool. Add some depth, add some effects, stuff like that. So that's nice. Now let's put them all together. So, you say, doesn't matter either way, either you lie, or you're just that all right, now let's add another verb plugin. I'm gonna call this plate. All right, I'm gonna add a reverb to it. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna use another UAD. Actually, no, ah, Slate Verb Suite Classics. I really like this verb plugin a lot, actually. It's, it's pretty damn good. Um, and so is his repeater. His repeater actually stands stands tall next to the, um, what's it called, Echo Boy as well. Let's see, vocals, I'll do a plate. So, you say. All right, so I'm gonna group these all together. Oh. All right, so we got the vocal plate, let's listen to that verb plate. So. You say, add all the extra. Doesn't matter either. All right, I'm going to group these. I'm going to call these aux. All right, because these are my sends. So, what I did was I went in the here to explain it really quick. I go here, these are my sends. New track, I'm sending them. Now I have a plate reverb, a delay, a double, and a fake room. So, these are all my aux tracks. If I mute it. So, you say, with everything. Doesn't matter either way. Either you lie, or you're just that insecure. So the double might be too loud. So you say, does sounds pretty damn good. Let's bring that in with everything. So you say, doesn't matter either way. Either you lie, or you're just that insecure. I know without. This might not cool sounds a lot better is it great no is it perfect no it's really quick done quickly um i'd probably balance so, it a little more okay. you say doesn't matter actually you know what? probably bring all of these down and then blend the taste so, you say doesn't matter either way either you lie or you're just that insecure no, you're afraid This might not work either way Give it a try I know that you're unsure And then I do the same thing to the, um, you know, to the harmony vocal If I add the harmony in real quick, I'll, uh, let's see I'm gonna give it, yeah, I guess a double two um. So Say Pro Tools being Pro Tools. Either you lie or you're just that insecure. Alright, so that sounds cool. Um let's bring this lead up real quick right here, these guitar leads. Um you know what? I'm gonna send these to a group two. And there's nothing wrong with kind of mixing as you go. I typically don't like to mix. 
as I go, but right now I'm in the zone. I'm just gonna be like, you know what? Let me make this guitar lead a little higher. <laughs> With that guitar lead, I think I almost want a weird, exaggerated sound there, almost like a telephone style effect. So, oh, let's do a little cut there, here, do a little high cut, and change the octave, and I know. I know. All right, cool. I know. You're afraid This might not work either way Give it a try I know that you're unsure And all this time I've been trying right there, to understand Trying to keep my head Yeah, something like that uh, Let's hear how that goes in the chorus You are the one you're all I need You're what the stars wish they could be And I Alright, so cool. So, you see what I mean. I created some kind of with some interest in that, in that very mono, bland, boring vocal. So now if I start stacking harmonies on it and ahs and gritty textures and answering melodies and, you know, different delay throws and things like that, I'm able to really make this kind of bland, boring vocal sound sound more interesting and that's that's kind of like a pop music trick that some things that I picked up so to recap I really recommend the four things creating a double if you're not going to manually double them which you can do again with the uh, the waves ADT um, the ocean way creating like a fake room fake small room echo boy for the delay and then a, a plate reverb setting and all this stuff can be achieved with kind of your stock plugins just with a lot more work so your room It'd be taking a reverb and choosing a small room setting and making it making sure it kind of gives that small room sound for your double all that is is really it's taking a if i used a delay i can go here go to mod delay stereo okay and then i would set this to you know um something like i don't know three milliseconds and then over here i'll do like you know uh, 11. 11 milliseconds and then I would hit a uh, link to adjust the dry and wetness so let me show you what that sounds like and so you say doesn't right, matter can, either way either you lie or you're, you're just, just that in all right so that creates a similar effect and so you say and so you say doesn't matter either way like 12, either maybe, you lie seven. or you're just that insecure i know you're afraid just create stereo with so like i said you'll have to work for it more if you have a stock plugin because it's not exactly creating the same kind of thing but that is a way to create fake stereo with is to use a uh, a stereo mod delay and then the echo boy gives a delay sound and so, so it's doing an eighth note delay and a quarter note doesn't delay matter. but then it's got this weird um kind of telephone effect with the eq so essentially you could create that manually if you set up an eighth note delay throw a quarter note delay throw and then threw some eq on it and stuff like that so like i said you can do this with your stock plugins it just means you have to work harder for it and you have to spend more time uh and then the plate is just a reverb plate setting so Again, let's take a listen to that vocal just by itself. And so you say everything added doesn't matter either way. Either you lie or you're just that. In so yeah, just has a little bit more effect, a little more beef, a little more width. So let me know if this tip helped you, or let me know if this tip helped you. It's been a long day. It's about a uh, time is it? That's one thirty in the morning here in Thailand. So hope you guys are having a good day. And uh, let me know. Drop a comment below if you have any questions.